Hi, I'll be here helping you with the Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean ratios. Nancy's rectangular garden is represented in the diagram below. If a diagonal walkway crosses her garden, what is its length in feet? You're actually looking for the hypotenuse. In this problem, either you solve it with using the old formula, c squared, which is hypotenuse of squared, equals a squared plus b squared and you solve it which is going to take longer uh, or if you remember the Pythagorean ratios you will be able to do everything Pythagorean ratio uh, Pythagorean ratios Pythagorean ratios let me just review it here for you so you can have them for your uh, reference and for any further um, uh, for any further work with Pythagorean theorem, you always think about those three ratios here. Always think about them. Uh, Pythagorean ratio R, if this leg is three and this one is four, this one will be five. And try it. three squared, that's nine. Four squared is 16. All right, it's nine plus 16 is 25. Squared of 25 is five. That's the hypotenuse and their product which means if you multiply three times two, four times two equals five times two. Same thing, three times 10, 30, 40, 50, same thing. The other ratio is if this one is five, this one is 12, the hypotenuse will be 13, okay? The last one is if this one is eight feet or eight inches, eight centimeters, this one is 15, the hypotenuse is 17. Those are the three ratios you need to memorize um, for any Pythagorean, uh, for any right triangle. If you have one leg 8, the other leg 15, therefore the hypotenuse is 17. And that's it. So the walkway is 17 feet. That's your final answer. Work well.